Hello and welcome to today's video on how to configure RAID 1 or we can say how to create a mirror volume in Windows Server 2016. So first of all, what is RAID 1? Generally, RAID 1 is also known as a disk mirroring. So this configuration is all about the data integrity or we can say for uh, fault tolerance. In RAID 1 setup, data is mirrored to the other drive. A full backup of everything is kept at the all times because the beat of data are simultaneously written to the different drives at the same time. Because of this, you will only get the total drive space of a single drive. So if you have a two 1TB drives, you set up the mirror, each other will only gives you a 1TB of total space. See, we require a minimum two hard disk to set up a red one. So I have a one image for the same for red one. If you open the image, the data will be stored like this. Now, so for example, we have a drive one as well as we have a drive two. Then the advanced writing and reading performance is also there and the protect data by making a duplicate of the old source data. Now, for example, if you have a disk one, you store a data on your disk one. The same time, the data will be also written to disk two. Now, for example, again, you store a block two on your drive one. And at the same time, the same data will be copied to the drive 2. That means if one of your disk fail, now for example, if your disk drive 1 is failed, that time you have the same copy of all your data on your drive 2. So this is the perhaps the most common real world uses when two disks are available. When one disk fails, the data is still 100% there and ready for the use. But the process of rebuilding the data array on the replacement drive can take a very long time to build up. Let's see the demonstration in our the lab scenario. Let's come back to the disk management console. We have a, a disk 1 and disk 2 and let's create a 1 mirror volume on disk disk 1. Let's select mirror and here is a brief overview information about the mirror volume. A mirror volume duplicates your data on a 2 disk. Create a mirror volume if you want to keep two separate copies of all your information to prevent the data loss. Click on next. On disk 1, we are going to select 102400 and from disk 2, click on add. It will also take the same amount of size from the disk 2. Click on next and let's specify M. Click on next and volume name, let's specify mirrored. Select perform a quick format, click on next and click on finish. And here we go. Now we have a mirrored volume, 100 GB from disk 1 and the same 100 GB from disk 2. If you open my computer and if you see, we have a mirrored volume, but see the size, 100 GB. But if we see the total size, it total consume 200 GB from disk 1 and disk 2. There's a one more option here. We have a, you can also remove mirror and you can also break mirror volume so if we are going to remove the mirror that time we have to just select remove mirror and select the disk from which to remove mirror of m so i just select disk 2 click on remove are you sure click on yes and now now the mirror volume is considered as a normal simple volume and let's just right click on its simple volume and select add mirror select disk 2 Click on add mirror and as you are seeing it is resyncing with this partition and this resyncing will also take some time. The process of rebuilding the data array on the replacement drive can take a very long time. So once the uh, resyncing completes you now have a active mirror on the drive M. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.